viewers and welcome to another video this is part six of some previous videos so if you guys haven't watched it before please click on the links below in the description and before you continue with this one now let's continue from where we left off put some bracket and pull the desired range close bracket and enter Next, we're going to do the total salary. So, we're going to put equal sum as well. Bracket. It, um, the total salary will be, of course, net pay. Close bracket. Then we do the same here. It's equal to sum. Bracket. We're going to then do the same thing for Arden. Finally, we'll just pull it here. Okay, so I'm just going to make a slight change up here because, um, as you can see, Mount of Olympus and Church of Santiago have the same figures. So I'm just going to change the role of one of these employees up here. And so I'm just going to change this now to Paul Clerk. And there, figures are ch have changed up here, so there's a different figure for everybody. So next, they said to, to generate a graph for this information. Generate a single graph for this that compares to the polling stations. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just gonna this insert a graph and I'm just going to use this one use the ones with the names at the top and it says to name this chart salary distribution by polling station this is up here in the chart title and then finally they said to save your spreadsheet as election one you should print your spreadsheet, the graphs and the formula sheet and then that's the end of the project so just name this as election 2 and save this Thank you guys for watching another video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions that you want me to answer.